So, yeah, Knife Show 31. Knife Show 31. And uh, I think that's how many knives we have. We are, we've got a lot. We you know, lot we were, uh, uh, we started just, this, we had like six. Yeah. People have been piling knives that's, on our desk and telling that's us. That's kind of the way, that's kind of the way it's, it's gone today. So, uh, you know, we've got some interesting things to talk about and uh, we've got some interesting news to talk about. Um, now, this knife show is going to air on Thursday. We are filming this on Tuesday yes. before our fall festival. Fall festival. And, folks, I'm here to tell you, if if you if you can, if there's any way you can, get here to town and get to the store on the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. That's this coming up weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for our fall festival. You will not regret it, I promise you. We're going to have so many deals in store. We're going to have so many giveaways in store and raffles. We're going to have a ton of our vendors are going to be in-house here to answer your questions. So you know Um, what most importantly? What's that? Food trucks. Food trucks. We've got 10 food trucks. 10. Tacos. tacos. 10 food trucks that are going to be here. At Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We've also got our Blade Sports cutting competition going to go on in the parking lot. That's going to be uh, Saturday morning um, on the 22nd. Uh, they're going to have the safety meeting at 9. And then the uh, cutting competition is going to go from 10 to 1230. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Dave Canterbury is going to be here um, doing some demonstrations. Joe Flowers is going to be here. We've got a ton of people that are going to be here. We're really Everybody excited about it. I like I said... Play. If there's any way you can get here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, you pr- I promise you, you won't regret it, folks. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. We're all going to be here um, running around like chickens with our heads cut off, uh, yes. doing interviews, talking to people, helping people. So, um, folks, if you get a chance, get here. Also, we've got our um, fall gathering coming up with uh, Georgia Bushcraft. Now, I can't um, wait. Casey from uh, Griffin Pocket Tool, mm-hmm. who heads up Georgia Bushcraft, is actually going to be here this weekend for our fall festival. But he's heading up the um, fall gathering uh, down in Georgia. We're going to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, there's going to be five of us there from the store here. And uh, we're super excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, but... Uh, First of all, we've got knives to get to. We've got knives to talk about. Our knife of the show is actually going to be our Purple Haze Benson right here. Vanax Super Clean Blade Steel. Just for Vox Nays, um, design right here in Super collaboration clean. with us. And uh, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This thing is beautiful. And uh, this is the last of our fat carbon versions of this Vincent right here. Um, and it is out now, available now. And this is the prettiest one yet in my mind. I love this thing. I think this thing is super hot. Let's take a look at that one up close. So that one's coming in at 229 right there. Got the purple haze fat carbon handles right there. Uh, got the anodized matching pivot collar and backspacer with the integrated lanyard loop right there. And uh, got the reversible deep carry wire pocket clip. Coated Vanax Super Clean Blade right there. And this thing, I love the fact, I always love knives that have multiple opening uh, mechanisms. So we've got a flipper, we've got the thumb hole, you can reverse flick it, you can open it however you want to. It is a liner lock, and uh, those purple handles are where it's at, y'all. I'm here to tell you. That is our knife of the show right there. Now, folks, a little bit of housekeeping. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. We're going to be in the chat with you when this airs. So we're going to be doing this as a premiere event live. Um, we're going to be chatting with you folks, answering any questions that you might have as this video goes on. Um, so don't hesitate to ask any questions. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and it hit it. It helps out. It helps lot. tremendously. You have no idea. Also, follow us on all social media. Um, subscribe to us here on YouTube. If you're looking on uh, Facebook, follow us there. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, shout out to the SMKW Army. Also, yes, yeah, shout out to the SMKW Army on Facebook. Um, and, uh, you know, any mentions that you do on Reddit, we appreciate that too as well Um, because that's big stuff right there and that's stuff that we can't do ourselves all right that's thanks to you guys so we really appreciate all of that stuff um now without further ado 
five minutes in, no, seven minutes in. Let's no light it up. Chow down, with the down down, chow down, with the down down. Do the voices in your head just go twenty four hours a day? Do you ever get a break from them? Pretty much, no. Okay, no. You you were talking earlier about how um, my favorite thing about you is people in history, uh, in in many cases throughout human history. Um, people really didn't get as much sleep as they do now. No, no, um, no, no, it was more like four or five hours a night, and that's that's still where I'm at. So I can believe that. Um, Mass does that mean I'm caffeine. prehistoric? No, that's that's your age that makes you prehistoric. That has nothing to do with how much or little you sleep. Okay, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so okay. we've got so a lot of cool knives to get do. to. You, you um, showed him the Vincent. Which is we showed the Vincent. Awesome. Yes, where um, do you want to love go? Love this thing. Uh, I'm loving that entire series. Yeah. I love the blade shape of it. Absolutely. Um, Let's stick with purple for I right now. I thought that's what you would do. You um, do like going in trends. Yes, absolutely. So our case Christmas knives are in, folks. Now I don't have one of the ones um, that have the engraving, the embellished bolsters, uh, in hand just yet, but we do have them in. They are available. We've got the plain version here. We're going to take a look at that up close as I open these blades right here. So I'm going to open that be careful. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and clean my clean my smutch off the blade there that I put on there with my fingers. Well, you have been smutty while I've been away. I came in. There was there's metal shards and there's grindings. And so there's, I, I did some custom stuff. And um, you didn't clean up. We're going we're gonna to show that later. You bite me. All right. <laughs> Mega bite me. Um, so this is coming in with the purple bone handles. Now, this is, this is the Case Christmas 2022 um, Sugar Plum Trapper. It's an SMKW exclusive. It features the mirror polish, true sharp surgical steel, clip point, and spade blades with the nail nicks. Um, and uh, it's also got our 2022 Christmas blade edge. It says Case Christmas 2022 Trapper right there. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's got Santa Claus in the sleigh right there with the case logo. Old Saint it's Nick. also got the bell right here. And that bell actually says Merry Case Christmas 2022 Aww. right there with a double X. Um, that's nickel silver on uh, that shield right there. Nickel silver on the bolsters. Um, brass liners, brass pins, beautiful knife, and a wonderful commemorative knife. You need to get your hands on this one while you can, folks, because these are limited. Very limited. And they are not going to last long. They're going to be sold. So if you get these normally for someone for Christmas as a gift, you need to go ahead and pick them mm -hmm. up now while they're available. Because if you wait until Christmas time, they're going to be gone. Yeah, that's why we're showing them now. If you don't exactly. order them now, get them shipped to you, put them up. Uh, they're not going to be there, guys. Yeah. And that sugar plum color they're calling that is a very apropos name. That is a beautiful color on that case. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and, it is. And as with all cases, even though it's collectible, very usable. Yeah, absolutely. Love that knife. That one's coming in. Uh, what's the price on that one? That one is a mere fifty nine fifty nine ninety nine. What? 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 The crap? Now that fifty nine ninety nine. That is the one without the embellishments. I don't have the ones with the, uh, the now, embellishments. I with the embellishment, I believe it's going to be five or ten dollars more. I'm not a hundred percent certain on that, um, but I believe that's what it's going to be on that one. Um, so I mean, and I tell you what, I've really been hooked. Oh. And there's On a purple. Zippo that goes with that. Have you even seen that? Yes, I have. We've got the purple snowflake Zippo that goes with that 2022. You need to check those out to go with it as well, folks. Um, if you're getting someone you love, uh, I mean, they're going to be great collectibles and great Christmas presents for anybody that collects knives. And I tell you what, you know, that's one of those things that nobody is going to be upset about getting for Christmas is going to be a knife. If somebody um, is upset about getting a knife for Christmas, I don't think I want them in the family anymore. Like for me, if somebody gets me, I don't even care if it's a $5 gas station knife. If somebody gets me a knife for Christmas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't you down my $5 gas station knives. I use those I'm, all the time. You, like, especially those, 
You know those with the rainbow blades? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, moving yep. Right Coming along. Along. Are we going to stick with Case today? We are. We're going to stick with Case right here. Um, and this is a really cool one. So this is the vault pattern for this year. This is the small swell center. And this is the magician's knife. So this one also, not only being a magician's knife, but it works really well for Christmas because red and green. Yep. Oh. Alternating. I love the attention to detail. They put it in the shield. They put it on yep. the bone. It's so let's take a look at that one up close right here. So we're looking at the green bone side, the green jig bone side right here. It's got the red shield, red case, double X shield. Then you flip it over. Got the red jig bone with the green shield. Um, got the nice stripe bolsters. I love that. I think that's a very classic look right there as well. Um, half stops as they do on... Um, on the uh the vault patterns right there got the two blades and um this is going to be a fantastic collectible i love the magician series anyways mm -hmm. um but the fact that this one goes right along with christmas and super sharp that's that wow so this is the small swell center jack it's got the mirror polish true sharp surgical steel clip point and pin blades right there with the nail nicks and magically Changing colors mm -hmm. from one side to the other. Um, now this one's coming in at it's three inches closed, eighty four ninety nine. That's a fantastic deal um, for a well built uh, vault pattern right here. Now once this year is done, uh, these swell centers are these small swell centers are going back in the vault, and there's no telling when they might come back. So or this is going to be a rare rare pattern um, that you're not going to have a lot of time to get a hold of. So you need to check those out while you can as well. I was doing some reading on here. Apparently, one of the reasons they started doing the Magician's Knife was a way for the old-timey salesman to be able to show off different uh, handle tops. They could yes, flip it over yes. Um, very cool. Exactly, yeah. So That's uh, a good knife tail. The, um, absolutely. So that was something that was implemented years and years ago when the salesman would travel. And that was at a time when um, there weren't, uh, it, it, most of the retailers that were carrying it were like co-ops mm -hmm. um, and uh, or, or like feed uh, stores, old-fashioned old stores that somebody may have visited. General before. stores, like mass general stores, stuff like that. And the sales reps would go around and they would have samples with different handle materials on each side. And uh, that's actually how that came to be. So they would have samples with different handle materials so that when the shop owner would order, they could say, well, I want, you know, this pattern with that handle, I want this pattern with that handle on the other side there. And cool. that way they could carry fewer knives, but show all of the options mm -hmm. that they offered. And uh, so the magician's knife was born out of that. That's, That's a, very nifty. I yeah, like that. Absolutely. Those are the type of things that you normally don't learn, you don't hear, and really carry on that tradition right uh, with a traditional pocket clip a, a, a slip joint i love yeah. it love it shall we stick with american made because we had another knife drop today we yeah. did we did on tuesday not when this is there and on thursday so these may be sold out we tell you guys we put them out across social medias we put them in the emails make sure you sign up for the emails make sure you sign up for the text alerts because this is another one smkw exclusive you can only get here and in a limited number at that. Yeah. So limited edition Mel Pardew design. This is the mini griptilian. Um, this is with the sheep's foot blade with the thumb hole opening uh, on that bench made griptilian, which I think is really cool. I like I it. Um, I like Mel Pardew's designs. They fit really good in the hand. Mm -hmm. I love the black coated sheep's foot blade S 90 V on the blade steel as well. Reversible pocket clip. Um, and I love that axis lock. It's mm -hmm. super fidgety. It's a lot of fun to play with. I mean, you he does that all there. day long. Yeah, absolutely. And they, and they do have the engraving on the blade, the limited edition on there. So, so let's take a look at that one up close right there. Uh, now this one's coming in at 171. Like I said, S 90 V on that, uh, coated sheep's foot blade right there. And, uh, this is definitely looking like a, uh, stormtrooper edition right here with the white, uh, white grivery handles and, uh, the black hardware. And we've seen a lot of people dye these white we handles. Have. These white handles are great for dyeing. If you want to writ dye those or something like that, we saw a really cool looking one that someone had writ dyed wine colored, and it was gorgeous. That color scheme was absolutely beautiful. And um, so this is really customizable any way that you want to, or 
you can keep it if you're a Star Wars fan. You want something to go mm-hmm. along with your Stormtrooper collection? Absolutely. Oh, with a Stormtrooper um, collection, you can never miss. Yeah. Not like them. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so like I said, that one's coming in at 171, and this is an exclusive, and you can see right there on the blade, it says limited edition. Limited edition right there, right below the thumb hole. So check those out right there. It's just 2.8 ounces. It's really, really comfortable. And that is um, S90 on that one? Yes, S90V on that one. So um, that's a great deal right there. And uh, definitely need to check that one out. Absolutely love that knife. I mean, that right there just goes to show why you should be signed up for the emails, signed up for the text yep. messages. Check our flash sales daily because we always have flash sales. Is it 9 at 10 every day or 10 at 9 or 8 or 9? It's numbers at 8 a.m. <laughs> There's bunches. <laughs> All right. Um, Where do you want to go now? We, get, we still have we have lots. Do you want, we, ha, we, can show, we can show off in-store brands because we have in-store stuff coming. Yeah, we do. Brian, so Brian these are all. bugging me all day about that one. Th- let's save that one for a second because that's one. my favorite. That that one. That, okay. That, ooh, well, let, I'm that, getting excited about that. Let's show this one first. So this is a new Queen Winter Bottom Bone, and um, we've gone over the Winter Bottom Bone series mm-hmm. and the history before, behind it. and the history behind it. We got a new entry into our Winter Bottom Bone right here, and uh, I'm going to open it up, and we're going to show that up close. So this thing's really cool, um, and they did. A, I, I got to say, they continue to do a phenomenal job um, with this Winter Bottom Bone, um, and a lot of people are not recognizing it as winter bottom bone mainly because they remember the winter bottom bone from maybe the 50s and 60s we were aiming for the classic winter bottom bone from really the turn of the 20th century um right around the late 1800s early 1900s when it first got started now this is the half whittler version um you can see it's got the etching on the blade says queen steel right there and uh, this one's coming in at fourteen ninety nine for that half Whittler right there. Uh, coming in with brass pins and liners, nickel silver on the bolsters right there, four forty C on the blade steel. So want to make sure that w- we say that right. So this is four forty C, um, and that's a that's a significant upgrade. If you're if you're not familiar with blade steels, um, check out our uh, blade steel video on four forty. Um, and we're going to continue that blade steel series. Don't want to get off on that subject, but, um, if you're not familiar with the differences between 440A, 440B and 440C, check out that blade steel video because this is definitely an upgrade on the steel there. I got confused. It was the opposite on my grade cards. The C's were worse than the A's. (laughs) So definitely check that one out. That's a fantastic deal with 440C coming in at uh, what I say? 1499. That's insane. That's insane. So check those out. Keep an eye out, a weather eye out for those mm-hmm. coming up very, beautiful series. very soon. All right, so we'll save those. We'll go to a new series that's going to be coming out very soon. Yes, and this is our Code to, Red. These are the Code Reds. And TC loves them because he gets lots of neck knives. <laughs> we know how I uh, love to take one. all of the neck knives and turn them into... You need to talk to Brian about getting a whistle carries. with these. And uh, <laughs> this one... That's that's really interesting, right That's there. That's the blaze, I think. So, yeah, okay, I see this, I see this, I see this. So this one is the that is the blaze blaze neck knife neck knife coming in uh, with the Kydex sheath right here, red on one side, black on the other. Ball and chain lanyard. Ball and chain lanyard, and. Um, Many of you out there know, you know, what it's like to have a ball and chain. Um, and so happily, happily dear, happily, ha- uh-huh, you better, you better get that right. So it snaps right in there. Um, eight CR 13 on that one. Yes. Eight CR 13. And this one's coming in at what? That one is fourteen fourteen ninety nine. That's a great little neck knife. Uh, be a great little package opener. You can hold it a lot of different ways mm-hmm. right there. So we're going to show that one up close. That's going to be a two inch blade on that one right there. Very interesting design. I really dig this. Um, it gives you a lot of different options on how you want to hold it. It could be a great box opener, really something good. like that. Let me get these um, out of the way. That way it focuses in all the way. So it. it comes in the sheath right there. Like I said, I really like the the fact that you can hold it like that. 
you can hold it like that and you got that nice uh, generous thumb ramp on the back side right there you can even hold it like that right there as well um and pops right into that sheath if i get it right there there we go right there and is that that's a lanyard hole in the back as well so you could add a yeah. lanyard to it to have an to extra make it, grip yeah like, we, more like we've got on the uh, the minimalist yeah exactly awesome. I really dig that. I, I like, like that. that. And then we've got, this is the Skinner. We've got the Skinner right here. And you're going to recognize this blade shape. This is a very familiar blade shape um, on this Skinner blade. Um, and this is going to be a, this is really going to bring back a lot of memories. Now this is coming in with the red and black G10 handles. Black G10 on the handles, red liners right there. And uh, just a really, really comfortable ergonomic knife right there. Uh, seven inches overall, uh, three inch, three CR13 blade steel on that one. And coming in at $19.99 with the Kydex sheath. And on the back of that Kydex, you also have a uh, belt, clip. belt clip. Yeah. So a very simple belt clip on that one. It is removable. Um, and you would also be able to put any sort of uh, universal belt clip on that as well. And uh, it's also coming with the ball and chain lanyard as well. Then I have any, and you guys are getting, this is my first time seeing these as well. So this one is the code red Alterna. I really like that blade shape. It's a That's good really blade. Cool. I like the way that one fits in my hand a lot, but I, the next one I'm going to show you is yeah. the one I think you're going to have a flashback on. This Let's, feels really good in the hand. Like it fills up your hand just right. Or at least it does mine. Yes. I've got medium sized hands, um, and I'm going to show you it. It it just fits really good there. I like the blade shape. Nice drop point mm -hmm. blade on that one. Um, so this is coming in with a three CR thirteen three inch drop point blade. Uh, it's again seven inches overall on this one, three point eight one ounces, and uh, got the G ten handles with the red liners there. Got the Kydex sheath, red on one side, black on the other. Got the belt clip coming in at night. $19.99. That's a good deal right there. I like, I like that, that one a lot, and I knew you would like that one, but this one is going to have you a flashback to your childhood. This is oh. the Rough Rider Code Red uh, Backup Boot Knife. I can already see that this one's going to be a dagger blade, and oh, 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 look at that. That is sick. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. And do be careful because that it does come sharp right yes, out of the box. Right out of the box. And uh, so this is the backup boot knife. And uh, let me tell you, it will make you back up. I can tell you that right now. Four inch, three CR13 stainless steel dagger with the coated finish. Now, this is going to be a dagger with the hole extending out all the way to the tip. This one, again, is going to have the black G10 handles with the red G10 liners. 8.75 inches overall. Um, and weighing in at less than seven super ounces. Super cool. It's, yeah, six and, and then, a half ounces. And uh, I dig this thing. It's got the belt clip on the back of the sheath right there. Just because it's called a boot knife does not mean you have to carry it in your boot. No, but you, you can definitely do that if you want to. Mm -hmm. I, I, I highly suggest it. <laughs> and um, that one's coming in twenty two ninety nine. Twenty two ninety nine. I mean, you can't beat yep. that. And with all of the Code Reds, all of the, uh, the Rough Riders, as always, built by hand, back for life. Yep. You just give us a call. This one, on the other hand, this one is a little bit different than the others. It's a little bit bigger, and it comes with a different belt clip on the back of it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Very now, interesting. Now, there's a couple of different things different about this one. This is the Rough Rider Code Red Black Bear Drop. Black Bear Drop, mm -hmm. G10, red Kydex sheath, black Kydex on the back side of it right there, coming in at twenty two ninety nine. I dig the ergonomics on this one, too. That's a long blade on that one. Four inch, three CR, 13 blade steel and on that sheath too. foot blade. Yeah, super thick, super thick stock on that. It is full tang, as are all of these. All of these mm -hmm. are full tang. Um Red G10 accents, red G10 liners, and black G10 on the handles. Eight and a half inches overall. Um, I think I already said it, but four inches on that cheap's foot blade right there. Now, what we want to talk about with this one is um, the sheath, and more specifically, the belt clip is very interesting on this one. So this is going to be an adjustable belt clip. Now, first off, you can tighten this right here, and it won't move. Or you can keep it loose. You can wear it 
up and down like this, or you can switch it to scout carry just like that right there. So this is going to be an adjustable belt clip right here and it quick adjusts as well. So, well, it did until I got it stuck. <laughs> DC touches it and breaks things. Oh, it goes that way. Yes. I was I was pushing it the wrong way. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So just rotates right there, mm -hmm. bring it right back. And like I said, you can tighten that down or you can actually mount it. So if you'll notice, it's got one static hole here and one static hole right there. So you can actually reverse this. Mm -hmm. No, it wouldn't work that way. Well, there's different ways you can carry there's, it. There's different, different ways, ways you can carry you can it. You can go there. You can either carry it like you were saying yeah. for a scout. You can carry it as an up and down. You can always wear it as the neck knife uh, that comes with the ball and chain. It's a little heavy for me for uh, for a neck yeah. knife. But yeah. But for some people, no problem. Jimmy Slash could wear that all day as a neck knife and never notice it. Yeah. But, I mean, there is a ton with it. I like that. I'm loving that the colors are with it. And for the price tag, again, that one coming in at $22.99 with that yeah. Rough Rider uh, lifetime guarantee. No problem whatsoever. It's Fantastic. a great option. Yeah. I like it. So, and now we do have Rough Riders Reserve. Ooh. 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 Now, you've not got hands on with these yet. I have not. Oh, that's nice. Now, these are all coming. Um, so, as you've seen before, we've redone some of our reserves in mm. different handle materials. This is another one. Uh, another example of that, this is the Triple R009 pattern. Um, so this is going to be the Horncliffe right there. Um, an old friend with a new jacket is the way I was thinking about it. An old friend with a new jacket. This is the easy open blue micarta swayback right there. So you remember we did the natural micarta swayback. Mm -hmm. This is the blue micarta swayback coming in at $39.99. has all the same dimensions. Everything is the mm -hmm. same. The only difference is going to be this one's coming in with the denim micarta, and it's coming in with the bomb shield right there. So that bomb shield is looking absolutely bomb on this this knife right here. And again, it goes back with the straps. Oh, and the listen holsters. to that! Knife listen a to that! Do the knife ASMR. Closing. Yes, very nice, very nice. Nice centering on that one. Um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife right there. I'm absolutely digging this one. And coming in at $39.99, mm -hmm. D2 on the blade steel, two and a half ounces. Absolutely love that one. Can't again, go wrong with it. Got that Rough Rider guarantee. Yep. Even on the reserves. Now, this one I am super excited about right here. Uh, so this is going to be the swell center from Rough Rider Reserve. And I'm actually going to clean my gunky fingerprints off this one. That's not your fingerprints. That's my fingerprints. I'm sorry. No, that was mine. Was it from you opening it? Yeah. Okay, I feel better then. Huh. So, this is the Rough Rider Reserve Blue Micarta Swell Center Whittler right here. Um, half stops on all of the blades. Mm -hmm. God, I love that blade shape on that main blade right there. That nice drop point right there. Absolutely beautiful. D2 on the blade steel. This is the Triple R 003 B. in Blue Micarta. 003 BM Blue Micarta. That, this one's coming in. What's the price on this one? This one is coming in at $59.99. Um, and just a beautiful blade shape on that one. Uh, D2 tool steel mm -hmm. on all of the blades. Spear point, pin, and coping blades. I love the coping blades. I do, too. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, absolutely. And the swedging on that main blade. Yeah. It just, it's it's one of those little details that... It's that touch of class. We didn't have to do, but we did anyways. And, well, I didn't uh, do it. Did you do it? It, it? Well, our company... Okay, that's better. I was going to um, say, I didn't do it. I didn't show The company that we work for, that we promote... The big blue um, roof. The big blue roof. Yes, mm -hmm. that is that is correct. Um, so that's royal. a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife right there. Um, absolutely love that one. Fits in the hand really nice. Uh, Fifty nine ninety nine. You can't go wrong. Four and a half inches closed. Four point six five ounces. And of course, this one also coming in with the bomb shield as well this I'm time around. The bomb shield. Yeah, absolutely. And now this one right here. This, this is the is, one that we have been getting questions about for quite some time. 
He's having a moment over here, folks. He really is. Uh, Jeez. All right. Do me a favor before we go into anything else. Show a show the side by side comparison on size between it and the other uh, triple R's that they're going to be familiar with, the ones they've seen before. So this one is the 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 swell center that we just showed. Decent size mm -hmm. right there. Um, let me open the blade on that one. Open the main blade on that one. So, there we are. People have been asking us why. Because in pictures, it's always difficult to tell. With a, But with a side-by-side -side comparison, you can really see the size of that thing. And so, this is the Rough Rider Reserve. Swish. Swish. And, um... I mean, it, this one to me is nothing but net. That's why it's swish. Mm -hmm. um, I absolutely love this one. Now, this one's coming in a lot bigger with a lot more materials and a lot more engineering behind it. We've gone through several different iterations trying to get this one perfected, and we do now have it absolutely perfected. Um, the swing guard right there mm -hmm. fits into place perfectly with the bolsters. It is a uh, so it is not they aren't independently moving. There's a swing guard on each side, but they are not independently moving. They stay static with each other, and uh, which is a nice feature. That's something that not a lot of people do with those. All right, so each one of these moves together in tandem, snaps into place. It is a lock back. You'll see the lock back lock bar right back there, coming in with the bomb shield, black micard on the handles, D two on the blade steel. And that's a big piece of D2 right there. Um, now, we've got the nail neck, and we've got the fuller on the blade right there. That is not a nail neck. That is not a pull. You can use it as one, mm -hmm. but it is actually a fuller on the blade right there. So, closing that down. Now, I'm going to do some more ASMR with this one because I love the way this one sounds. That extra and click right there just makes it. I, I love the swing guard. I, mm -hmm. I think it's that's one of those things that takes more foremost, engineering. It is usable. Yeah. Folks, if you've never used a knife this big, it's very usable. You can use it for absolutely anything. It does take a little bit more getting used to just simply because of where it's going to fit in your hand. Uh, the swing guards, they help your hand not slide up and make sure that everything gets caught there. Uh, I absolutely love it. It works so well. And yeah. when you do have it broke down, the swing guards fit very nicely against the handles, and they're not intrusive anyway. They're not going to be catching on anything. They have done. They've gone above and beyond. I see why everybody took so much extra time with this one, and it really shows. I'm really enjoying this. And now this one does come in a little bit more because that it is so much bigger than the others. Yeah, Brian was telling me this is the largest uh, reserve. Ruffer, that reserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had, we had to make a bigger tin. We had to make a bigger tin. That's what he said. It's seventy four ninety nine. Yep. And absolutely worth it, too, yes. because it's so smooth, so well done. Just a beautiful knife and overall. Again, lifetime guarantee. Absolutely. No questions asked. So that's very cool. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. That's a lot of knives. It is. Considering it that is. we didn't start out with but six, I mean, man. Yeah. Sue Chicken's going to be happy. That's a lot of Rough Riders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so, so what have we got left, boss? The only thing we have left to do now is our picks. I told you this earlier, and I'm going to say it again. My favorite thing about you is you're not performing for them. You're not performing, certainly not for me. You literally are performing for yourself. I yes. watched him earlier dance up the stairs because he knew nobody was around at the time period. Did yes. a little soft shoe up, came back down a little bit up. He hates stairs with a passion. I have to make them fun somehow. So just watching him do the little dance was wonderful. If I can ever catch it on film without him knowing I'm going to, I'll share it. So I'm going to go first simply because I'm being greedy. I'm back from vacation. And my first pick goes along with a lot of the others we've showed today. Ah. <laughs> Ow! Uh, injury. Uh, I forgot how to do this. I was on vacation too long. Uh, I didn't cut myself. I hit myself on a sword sheath. A hunting sword sheath. A hunting sword sheath. Anyways, yes. we'll anyway, get to that in a minute. This is from our tortoiseshell series. This yes. is a brand new single blade. Single blade, Tobias. Single. Single blade. So, we, we did have a question about this one, um, and that was because our pictures were correct. Um, 
we had an issue with our description. It made it seem like things were not as they appeared. Um, this is a single blade bow trapper pattern right with here. 440B. In our tortoise shell, 440B on the blade steel. Um, that's a great blade steel for, for that kind of knife and really for that kind of price. Um, love the half stop. This is a great pick. And everybody's loving that new shield yeah. on them. It is a little bit darker tortoise shell than some people are used to. I'm enjoying it. And, of course, these are not going to all be exactly the same. Each piece you get is going to be individual to you. It's going to have more highlights on some pieces, but that beautiful shield is there. Tortoise, tortoise shell. shell. I like it. And that one coming in, $16.99 is definitely my budget pick this time around. And no tortoises were harmed no, it, it, in the making of imitation. this knife. Imitation. Yes. So... Nice pinch bolsters. Love that. Great pick right there. I'm loving it. And $16.99. We did raise the prices last time on our, yeah. uh, so we're now up to so 50 under Budget 50. is under 50 Yes. Um, Mid-range is under $150. Mm-hmm. And high-end is anything above 150 Yes. So, so, and you, I love this pick as well because it is a great one. You pushed that budget right to the penny. Yeah, I did. I absolutely did. Um, but this is a great budget knife right here. Um, I'm really digging this one. This one is the case Navy blue synthetic trapper. So you're getting a classic case design right here. And one that you're not going to be afraid to carry in your pocket for under 50 bucks, 49 99. Let's take a look at that one up close right here. Now, like I said, navy blue synthetic trapper, forty nine ninety nine. Um, it's four point one two inches closed, weighs just four ounces. Of course, made in Bradford, Pennsylvania. True sharp surgical steel on the clip point and spay blades right there. Now, this is going to be a classic trapper pattern, and it's also going to come in with the brass pins and liners, nickel silver on the shield as well as the bolsters, and I love that classic case oval shield right there. Very classy, mm -hmm. very classic. Um, and this is just a great, great budget knife right there. Um, and nice to be able to get into a case, case mm -hmm. brand case, for under 50 bucks. I think that's, uh, I love that knife it's right there. It's a beautiful knife. I love it. Yeah. And like I said, pushing that uh, budget right to that max. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the reason we did that. Push that up there. Give us a couple more options to show absolutely everybody. Yeah. On mid-range, I went fixed blade. That's a cool pick right there, dude. I like this. I, you know me. I've been digging Condor for quite some time. We got Joe Flowers coming yep. in. And I did not go with one of his specifically for that reason because I would be bugging him all weekend about <laughs> it. I really would. This is the Condor Mountain Pass sur uh, Surveyor Knife. And this one, you do have to be careful because it is sharp on both sides. Yes, but not all the way out of the tip. No. So that is something interesting to note. And so we've been talking about, and nobody's really addressed that much on this knife, how to use it, what it's best used for. Now, this is coming in at 105. 105, and, and with the budget on that one up to the 150, it's absolutely yep. great. West Virginia design. Yep. <laughs> this one's coming in at 105, uh, 6.26 inches on that sheep's foot blade right there. Uh, 10.57 inches overall. 440C, stainless steel on the blade steel right there. And this section right here is sharpened. Now, I don't know what everyone else would use this for, but I would definitely use this as a bushcrafting knife. And the thing that I'm looking at using this for would be splitting branches to use mm -hmm. them as handles on things. Or, uh, and we talked about this earlier, I think this is going to make a great part of the knife to use for um, debarking trees. Mm -hmm. So taking that top layer off, you can, you can really easily either do it away from you just like this, or you can do it towards yourself like this. Um, but it's going to make a great part of the tool to do that with, and you don't dull your main blade. Mm -hmm. You can use that for a lot of different tasks that would normally dull your main edge, but maybe you want to save that for skinning or mm -hmm. something like that. So I think that's a great option on that knife right there. Love the micarta handles, um, red liners on those. 
got the lanyard hole in the back end. Uh, really nice sheath. And this was another thing we were talking about. So we've got this really nice drop leg sheath here. And the back looks a little different. So, and this is something else that not a lot of people have addressed. So this can be used in a lot of different ways. Number one, it can obviously be used um, as uh, belt loops to carry this um, scout carry. Uh, you can take this and drop that D-ring down and just use it as a scout carry. Or you can actually use this as a holder for something else. That's what my brain went to first. Yeah. I went to it either for a, uh, like a fire rod. That's what I was thinking, a fire rod or something else like that, an yeah. emergency kit. I, I teach the kids in uh, mm-hmm. Scouts a lot, so it's one of those, maybe a, a fire preparedness kit. looks like the back edge of that has got a 90-degree spine on it, so you could definitely cast some sparks off of it. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of Absolutely. things. And maybe that's even what I would use that secondary ed- uh, edge on the back there for is feather sticking and getting the fire ready. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and at $105 it, for a Condor, I love it. It's a great fit. It's a great size. It's so usable in multi ways right there. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a know. great pick. That's a great, great pick right there. Um, Where did you go for your so mid-range? So I went to a different place for my mid-range. Um, now, there's going to be a lot of haters for this one right here, but I love it. So I picked the Victorinox Swiss Champ right here. And this is the basic Swiss champ. Now, now, you have been obsessed with Vitronox over the last little while. Yes. I'm going to be doing some projects of my own with this knife. Um, this one is mine. Um, but this one in and of itself is my pick for this week. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be doing mm-hmm. some, some projects, um, doing some customizing and some work on this knife. But um, this one in and of itself, the way it is now, is uh, is my pick for the week um, for my mid-range. This one's coming in at 106, I believe it is. 106.99. 106.99, yes. yep. Um, coming in, and we're going to go over all the tools right here. Uh, we've got the bottle opener right there. Other side, we've got the can opener right there. Then, keep on going. We've got the magnifying glass. If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be a 5X magnifying glass on that one right there. Open that up. Then you've got the inline Phillips head right there, which I really dig. And uh, that's going to come in handy with um, my project that I've got going on because I'm really, really liking that. Next up is going to be the pliers right there. One of my personal favorites. Which I really like those pliers. I, I like the way that they're made. They're simple. Um, I'm not going to try to do too much with these, um, but they're going to get what I need to done. All right. Next up, my favorite part, scissors. I'm scissors. always a huge proponent of having scissors on me. Um, I'm, and I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've said it before. I'll say it again until I'm blue in the face. But you don't realize how useful scissors are until you actually have them on you and can use them. Um, then after that is going to be uh, the saw, and um, well, actually, I got those backwards. The um, fish scaler, which has the ruler built into it, and the disgorger, and the disgorger, and uh, then the saw as well. Then after that, we're going to have the really aggressive file, which I really dig as well. Um, and I might be doing some custom work to that as well. And then uh, past that is going to be our main blade here. And then our secondary small pin blade right there. Now, that's all on the front side. That's all on the one side right there. Now, we're going to go, and that I tell you what, you get all those together, that gets a little bit difficult. We might have to do one at a time there. Yeah, take your time. I'd, I'd rather take a couple of seconds more than see you lose a digit or something. I mean, you didn't put your plastic piece in there. I like the half stop on the screwdriver. Yeah. Um, And same goes for the bottle opener. It's got the half stop as well. Oh, there you go. Snaps into place. Now we look on the backside. So you're going to have the corkscrew, which there's been a lot of uh, debate as to whether or not the corkscrew is actually useful. Mm -hmm. I like having it. I've said it before. I've been on vacation before where I bought a bottle of wine and then got back to wherever I stay. I was staying, whether it was a hotel or an Airbnb, didn't have a corkscrew, needed one. That comes in handy with something like that. And Grow, growing up here in town with uh, with so many hotels, with so many cabins, you would not believe how many people don't think when they go, 
all the wineries that we have around here yeah. to pick up one. Absolutely. And, and then you've got your little mini uh, eyeglass Hi, repair um, screwdriver right there. I've also seen the ones now that you can replace that with with the fire starter for yep. that. That's what I've got in mind. So I've got the tender bundle that goes right gotcha. here, and then it's the, the fire ant that goes right there, and you can scrape that. It's got the ferro rod on it. Um, great option for that. This one's also got the straight pin in the handle right there. You can barely even see that. I'm going to put my, there it is right there. Yeah. So, um, and actually what that's become mostly used for is going to be like a reset button mm -hmm. pusher or a way to get, um, like the SIM card door open mm -hmm. on a lot of electronic devices. Um, so that's a great option for that right there. Also, on this side is going to be. Maybe we should use a straight pin to get it out. This is the chisel mm -hmm. right there. Next is going to be the flathead screwdriver right there. After that is going to be the multi hook. I was reading in the or uh, parcel hook. The parcel hook. Yeah. Uh, apparently, in a lot of places where they don't use. Uh, Plastic bags like we do here in America, yep. they use the reusable ones. That's what they like to carry that on mm -hmm. is they put those on there and make it easier for them to carry, make it a T-handle out of it. Yep. And then you've got your awl and reamer tool right there. I agree. You do have it all. Yep. Of course, you got your uh, keychain, which I'm not going to be putting this on a keychain. That's a little too heavy for me to put it on a keychain. But Good option to hang it from a backpack yeah. or something like that. Then you've got your tweezers. Very invaluable. I have lost so many of those over the years. And then here, and this is what I really like. Um, you've got your toothpick, but this is this is the plus version. So it's also going to come with the ballpoint pen right there as well. Um, I really like that because I, I always find myself in situations where I need a pen, mm -hmm. don't have one. Uh, I like ways mine all the time. I like ways that I can carry one that it goes with something else. So. Um, that's a phenomenal tool right there. Like I said, I'm going to be doing some custom work and, uh, yeah, going to be seeing what I come up with. I saw your custom video so. while I was on vacation, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you come yeah. up with with that one as well. That's going yeah. to be awesome. Absolutely. Okay, so that leaves us with high-end. High-end picks. For me, I saw that when you went out to uh, Salt Lake City. Yep. I saw your interview with Lynn Thompson. Oh. I... That was a uh, that was a fun moment right there. I mean, I tell you what, it has so to be one of the highlights. Getting to talk to Lynn and, and getting to interview him is uh, is one of those childhood dreams for me um, because I mean, I grew up um, watching the videos, VHS tapes to begin with, Meet you, and then um, on to the DVDs mm -hmm. and uh, the videos that he made. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so. This is going to be a knife that is, well, knife, not knife. not so much a knife. Knife. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, this uh, high end pick here. High end, Lynn Thompson inspired hunting sword. What the Jesus Christ was that? I, I, <laughs> I can reach out and touch you. Touch you. But yeah, I saw this downstairs. We have these available online. I had to show you. I didn't know whether you'd even played with these or not. I'm not going to take it out of the sheath because it's cold steel. It's sharp. I'm going to hand it to you. So mine's coming in at $238.99. While he's playing with that, the cold steel hunting sword rosewood handle features a 1055 carbon steel blade. I picked it. <laughs> detailed rosewood handle the scabbard style is made from heavy black leather and capped with an embossed nickel silver throat and chap the sword is inspired by those quite popular in europe and americans during the 16th and 17th centuries yeah that is insane that there, is there is nothing more lynn thompson than a cold steel hunting sword to me and that is super sharp why do you think i handed it to you Look and the detail on the handle yeah the, I mean, it is an absolutely gorgeous hunting weapon because that's what that is. That That is not meant to hang up on the wall. It's not a pretty. They designed that to be used. I mean, I never thought I'd want to carry something bigger than, say, a Bowie knife. I, 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 I kind of want to carry that. I kind of want to carry it, too. Yeah. <laughs> not going to lie. Does it qualify as absolutely ridiculous? 
Yes. That doesn't I even know. fit in our, that barely fits in our main camera yeah. shot. I know some of you would carry this EDC. Let me know who you are. Yep. I wonder if Jimmy Slash has done a, a Will It Cut video with that. Well, and two, the way this is designed, you could easily slide it just inside your belt. Yeah. Well, that's what the, you yeah, slide the that one on the belt, it. and then that is what that's what that one's for. That way, you can still be having the sheath. You pull down on the sheath and pull up on the sword, and you go hunt things. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to hunt with it. It sounded like you just said you go hump things. No, hunt <laughs> things. Like jack and apes and people that cast asperges on the way that you speak. J- jack and apes? Jack and apes. You, know, you mean jackalopes? No, jack and apes. <laughs> Do you not know what a jack and ape is? No. you an upstart jack and ape, you. You, you a young thing. You got you to gotta brush up on your insults from the 1500s. You just, wow. Okay. You related. Old man. <laughs> All right. Old man with a sword. Get it right. So uh, my my high end went absolutely the other direction. Um, and it's a knife that I've had my eye on for a really long time. And I really, really want one of these. <sighs> and they're hard to come by, too. Mm-hmm. So mine is the... Um, it's the Microtech UTX-70 Hellhound in OD Green. All right. A little bit of a size disparance. Boom. It's a little cold, all right? The temperature just dropped. <laughs> so let's take a look at this one up close right here. So pops right out. I love that Hellhound blade. That's a really cool looking Tonto blade right there. This one's coming in at 333.19. Stonewash standard OD green aluminum on the handles. Now this is the signature series, um, seventy percent of the full size Ultra Tech right there, um, and really easily EDC'd. Um, and as small as this looks, when you think about it in reality, it's not really that small of a knife. I mean, we're still talking about um, three point five three inches closed. It's a 2.42 inch blade. It's a, a two and a half inch blade. Mm-hmm. Like that's a decent blade length on that. I love the Hellhound blade design. I think it's awesome. Um, this one's coming in at 1.25 ounces. So extremely lightweight. Got the bl- glass breaker on the back end right there. And uh, this one's coming in uh, premium blade steel as always. Um, this one in particular, I don't remember exactly what this one is specifically, um, but it's always going to be like CTS 204P or M390 or something along those lines. So it's always going to be a premium blade steel. It's got the born on date, got the serial number. I dig this one. I love this. Um, we, had just, somebody, we had somebody send a picture the other day of using one as a tie tack. That's how small yes. and light that is. Tucking it in, using yeah. that as a tie tack. It worked. Right they there. can't see anything behind her microphone for that. I could use it as a mustache. You could. It, it smells good. <laughs> it smells good. It smells good. I, I love I like the UTX 70s. The yeah. 70s are a great size to me. And when you're comparing it to something like a hunting sword or a full size uh, Truidon or anything else downstairs. But I mean, uh, but so, you throw that, you compare that to a case over there. There you go. See? Let's take this case swell center right here. Mm hmm. So. Right up next, like next to each other. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna go right there. Yep. So basically, the same size, almost identical. It's just what we're so used to yeah. from Microtech and yeah. just being so awesome, so over the top, and then a very usable, very friendly carry right there. I mean, yeah. I, I love this thing. And we've talked about it before, um, being different places and pulling out a knife, and sometimes people just kind of go, you carry a knife? Yep. It happens. It happens a lot. It happens. So really dig that one right there, coming in at 333. That's uh, Those are great picks. I, that's I my high end. We definitely went in different directions this time, and I yeah. like that. Yeah. The only thing we got left is, what do you got in your pocket? So today, um, in case you haven't seen, I did a custom shop video um, on my new uh, Spyderco uh, Para 3 in uh, Maximant on the Blade Steel. Um, got this one at Blade Show West. Um, really excited about that one. 
and then did the entropic finish on the handles right there, and uh, they turned out great. They I really did. You've got them. a lot of compliments on those. So uh, our, our buddy Corbin commented, and he had an exciting weekend this past week. Yes, weekend. yes. Congratulations he got married. To Congratulations Corbin to Corbin and Lovins. Yeah. Yes. So uh, this was a Mrs. super, Lovins. yeah, this was a, a super simple um, finish to do. Uh, and not a lot of people know how it's done. Not a lot of people have put it out there how to do it. But it's really simple. All I did was polish these titanium scales up. Um, then I heated them up with a blowtorch until they started to change colors. I quenched them in ferric chloride acid, Jantz ferric chloride acid that we sell here at the store, and uh, then rinsed them off with water, and this was the final result. Then all I had to do was put them on the knife. So really, really simple right there, and uh, really nice outcome. I like we, that. We've got a lot of comments. We've got a lot of questions, and a lot of your questions have spawned questions for us in here, and we're doing more research on them. Like, what else can we do that on? So we may be looking at more things for TC to set on fire. I mean... Have fun with it. Yeah, absolutely. So I will say um, one of the main questions we got was, can you do that kind of a finish on stainless steel? No, you cannot. Um, there you go. So uh, not exactly anyways. Um, it's not going to come out like that. Um, stainless steel doesn't respond to heat the same way um, and doesn't respond to acid etching the same way as uh, titanium does. Stainless steel, you can acid etch, though, and you can get different uh, finishes and different darknesses mm -hmm. based on how long you leave it in there. And then um, once you're done, you can actually do like a brass wash with it. So you can put it in with like a bunch of brass hardware, tumble it, and it's going to come out like flecked with little brass um, like markings on it. Uh, really cool stuff. And I'm going to show you guys how to do stuff like that along the way as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of custom shop type stuff. Um, stay tuned for all of that. Those coming are gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to those yeah. videos. What have you got in your pocket? I have to give a shout out to the knife that saved my vacation. Oh yeah. Yes. More and if carried it around, went to the condo, three bedroom, very nice. Not anything sharper than a butter knife in the entire place. <laughs> now, this, this is my bag knife. And if you don't have a bag knife, I think everyone should have one. I, $11, $12. Yeah. Throw it in. Basic Mora. Hadn't used it for anything. It was just there in case I needed it. And this became the one that cut the bologna sandwiches all week. Yep. I literally had to cut a key lime pie with this because the butter knife in the place was not sharp enough to cut the crust on the bottom. of It was terrible. So shout out to Mora. Thank you for saving my vacation this past week. And now I've got to get some of these for the in-laws as well because they used it all week and thought it was awesome. Yeah. And my buddy that made me my 3D printed one for my Spidey Co. He's yeah. now making handles for the Landers as well. Nice. So we know that Ben, you got to see him out of Blade Show West. Yep. And he's released that to everybody to start making their own. People are still making them. So go on Etsy, take a look at them, see what's out there, find ones that you like. Yeah. And I mean, I know you got one of them. You haven't started, you haven't started printing your handles yet, but that gives you an idea. Yeah. I like that a lot. And there's just, so knife <laughs> up, up and away. <laughs> it was tighter than I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm still digging this with that mule team and, uh, and the scales on that one right there. I like that a lot. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, also want to give a honorable mention, another project that I've got in the works and, uh, actually just got the scales in, uh, for this one today is going to be my Swiss mini champ right there. I told you he was um, obsessed with Veteranox. Yeah, I've got a I've got a lot of really cool stuff that I'm working on with those. Um, we're going to be doing some well, titanium anodizing up. and stuff like that. So winter is coming yeah. up, cold weather, time to stay in, start in on some of the projects. Yep, absolutely. So we're really excited about all that stuff, folks. Um, let us know in the comments down below what you think, uh, what you want to see more of. Um, we got some more from, coming from our Blade Steel series. Um, we've got some more new knives coming as well. Um, more Always exclusives. More we've got all kinds of stuff. Check out our Boker Cataclyst. Um, those are an insane deal. I want to say those are going mm -hmm. for like 28 bucks right now. Under 30. I know um, that for certain. And that's an insane deal. We've got more sales coming up. We can't tell you what they are yet, but take a look on the website always. Yep. Check your emails. And uh, again, if you can get here for Fall Festival this weekend, mm -hmm. please do. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're really excited about it. 
I'm I'm looking forward to tacos. I think that's about it for us. Tacos. We got to go get back to work. What you, so what word did you say? Don't say that word. I don't like that word. Greg, I'm gonna need you to put that away. Because if you don't put that away, <gasps> pizza. That's a great idea. Let's go for pizza. Pizza cutter. <laughs> <laughs> As always, it's been us here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's a hot pocket of dumpling. SMKW, I will. <laughs> Remember, if it cuts, then we carry it. Like I'm about to cut Greg. We carry cut Greg's. We we cut Carrie Greg's. Wait, what's the Greginator? Greg, why are you happy? I'm vacation. Oh, I was on oh. vacation. I went to the beach. I saw things. I saw people. Greg got to go on vacation. I did uh, with my in-laws, but I was still on vacation. Wonderful. It's no wonder you're happy. Why are you not in? There, you don't have to be on me, just not in the camera. There we go. So, um, so you're happy because you're back from vacation, and the yes. rest of the world is just getting ready for Christmas. Skip the holiday. What happened to the Turkey Day? Well, that's coming, but there's Christmas decorations everywhere. There are, and it, I, and there's there's Halloween decorations that are almost sold out and like going on special now, and there's Halloween slash Christmas decorations everywhere, um, like the twenty foot tall Jack Skellington yes. at Lowe's. I really like those. Those have been all over TikTok and every other social media. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. having fun with those. Um, so we're getting ready for Christmas. We We got, look, this is Knife Show. Which one is this? 31? Uh, Yes, we we are old. We're 31. 31. 31. I'm way older than 31. I can tell you that right now. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Ah! So, the only thing... So... You're going to get the thumb for you? Woo! No, I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm.